Okay, today I'm going to do one on um, keying circuits, uh, transistor rise keying circuits and um, amplifiers. Um, not doing a tube keying circuit today. Um, this one's related to um, the transistor keying circuits that key up the relay in a CB amp. Um, a lot of ham amps you use a foot switch, but um, the smaller CB amps they have a sniffing circuit. They call it a sniffing circuit or a sniffer because it sniffs the RF when it comes in. When you key down your radio, the um, RF that comes in. You turn this down. A little skip running on the Super Bowl. Um, so when you key down a radio, it sniffs the RF. You know, a little sip, a little snip of sniff of it, and it senses that it's getting RF coming in. You know, um, and it goes to a transistor. That little sniff, and that transistor said uh, it biases it, so it turns the transistor on, and it grounds the uh, relay and makes it key up um, so don't do this at home what I'm doing right now is I only have low voltage I only have uh, a 13 volt power supply going to this RF deck there is no high voltage or high voltage power supply or anything like that connected to this amp I just have a, a low voltage power supply connected to these jumpers to the low voltage circuitry of this amp so I can stick my fingers in there and play with it and explain <clears throat> to my heart's content and not worry about getting shocked so again don't do this at home you know with the high voltage because I don't want anybody to get killed you know playing with it but um, just trying to give an explanation and again I only have low voltage uh, 13 volts going to this so I don't have to worry about getting shocked or killed or anything when I'm playing with this thing right so anyway um, I got it all hooked up hopefully if it's still hooked up that's gonna key the radio down a little mud duck radio um, going the low voltage is all this um, amp and most CB amps need to fire the relay and as you can see it's keying down you know I key the mic let's see if I can get that in the picture I key the mic, it keys the relay with the circuit. Okay. <clears throat> so basically how that works is um, this is your uh, radio input coming in. Let's see if I can zoom in. And by the way, this isn't my work. I bought this uh, deck because somebody uh, uh, did a project in it normally it uses um, 6L6 type audio tubes and and the audio tubes are mounted this way going that way but somebody converted this to 6L Q6 tubes the same used in a Phantom and they moved this over and they modded the heck out of it and I saw that and I was curious as to what they did and I got it for a fairly cheap price so that's the story behind this um, deck here and I took one of the tubes out to try to make room so we could see the keying circuit there so anyway the RF comes in through this um, input antenna jack and it actually goes through the relay and then output goes on the um, output antenna jack there so basically your signal comes in goes into the relay there's a loop around I don't know if you can see that small wire on the two left and right contacts on top there. And when it's not keyed, it just loops around and it goes back out. Um, that's normal for just about any amplifier. You know, into the relay, loop around, come back out when it's not keyed. And then when you key it, it puts the um, power on the input into the tubes. Uh, we turn that radio down. I was listening to two radios at once. And then the um, output from the tubes goes to the output side and out when you key it down. Uh, a lot of problems with amps not working is the relay contacts are dirty if the relay is keying up. So they're either not getting input 
and I always tell people to check their input SWR because um, if if the relay's dirty or uh, not, you know, getting the RF into the tubes, you're going to have a very high input SWR. And if their output is not getting out, the tubes are going to be overheating but not doing nothing. That's usually um, on the output side, and it might be a dirty or bad relay. But anyway, let's go back to keying it up. So you got the um, RF going into the relay, but you also have a um, resistor here and a capacitor there that's connected to your input all the time. And then you have a, um, this here is a little signal diode. Let's see if I could zoom, zoom in. That there is just a little signal diode and almost all um, CB keying circuits have that little diode there. And that diode goes to a couple more resistors, a capacitor, and it works its way um, into the um, transistor, the keying transistor. And this is the uh, uh, a common keying transistor, 2 in 22, 22A. Um, there are different variations and numbers on it, and um, here are two new ones. Just to show you what a keying transistor looks like. It's going to either usually look like that. Palomars use this bigger silver one, like that. On many amps, you'll see that they have uh, two of the transistors. Because on most amps that have a preamp, they use the same type of transistor to amplify the um, preamp signal as they do to amplify the uh, input signal coming in for the, um, well, they don't amplify it, but um, they use the same transistor for the preamp as they do for the um, King uh, transistor relay. So if you see two of them are the same thing, one of them usually goes to the... Um, keying circuit and the other one usually goes to the preamp so that's what a couple of the uh, transistors look like and basically the input you know is rectified by the diode you got a couple capacitors and dropping resistors in there so it sends a tiny signal a sniff and that's why they call it a sniffer to the base of the transistor and the base is you know what tells the, the transistor to amplify or not so when it senses that signal at the base it turns the transistor on and basically you got uh, the ground side the 14 volts coming off the coil of the relay to one leg of the transistor and then the other uh, leg of the transistor is just basically a ground so what's happening when you key it down it's turning this transistor is basically acting like a switch when it sig uh, gets that signal in on the base which is the center on this one it puts a ground on the ground side of that um, 14 point volts coming out of the relay over here and it's the ground side so we should be able to see that with a meter uh, I should have hooked up a keying circuit or a foot switch because I only got two hands. But anyway, no, nope, why is my meter not reading that voltage? There it go. So I'm on the hot side of that voltage of the relay coming out. I got 15. 0.5 volts on the relay with the um, off the relay on the ground side with the transistor not engaged keying circuit not engaged and then when you key down it drops it down to one volt it doesn't go drop it down completely all the way to zero because it's it's not a total you know 100% accurate ground but it takes it almost to ground level so I still got one volt uh, on that ground side with it keyed, unkey it, keep losing my uh, connection there because I got a mic in one hand and the um, um, meter 
in the other and the camera in the other so my hands are full so key it down it drops it down unkey it it goes back up and that leg is the ground and then that's the signal that it sniffs when it comes in so that's basically how a um, any amp that has it a sniffer circuit works some of them have two transistors like one driving the other um, they're a little bit more sensitive usually the ones with two transistors and again a lot of amps with the um, bi amp they use the same transistor to key the relay as they do for the um, bi amplifier but anyway we're gonna disconnect the power from it and just do a couple quick ohm meter tests so we, we disconnected the hot I'm gonna put our meter on um, actually we're gonna put it on diode test this is gonna be fun with a camera okay we got the camera laying down hopefully we don't knock it over and we're gonna just do a two couple quick tests what usually goes is the transistor itself and then this little diode and pretty much all of them have a little diode here they go too and what usually causes them to go is people overdrive these little amps most CB amps are made for 4 watts drive or less and then you know people put you know 50 watt radios or 50 100 watts in them and they kill you know these little circuits so anyway this diode goes and how to check a diode is you know get a meter put it on diode test and then you can hear my beep showing that I got continuity that way and it's my meters reading 0.6 but I only got two hands and then that way it's almost open it's still reading a little bit there you go because um, we got capacitors and stuff up there holding the charge but if you got 0.6 one way on the diode it's usually good let me see if I can hold that with one hand and I'm on diode test and they're gonna read about 0 0.6 0 0.7 you know for a diode and also a way to test a small transistor like that is to test for two diodes look for two junctions or two diodes on the transistor and since I already know that this is the base in the center you're usually going to have a diode from the base to the um, ground side and it's reading 0.7 you can hear the beep on my um, meter and it's not beeping no more I'll just try to show that in a second and it's reading 0.7 over here yep, touching my leads trying to get one hand so I can show it on the meter not that easy get on there oh, there it is 0. 0.7 you know 0. 0.6 0. 0.7 is a good diode and then if I switch the leads from the base to that other side I should get 0. 0.7 too um, if you're getting a short or open you probably kill the um, transistor and the same with the diode they short and they open but usually what goes in a um, amp that doesn't want to key up is the um, they got a diode in there like that somewhere and it's usually the uh, keying transistor itself why it won't key very common problem with these um, amplifiers and usually like I say it's because somebody overdrove it the other thing if the relays keying up and you know you got good tubes and the high voltage is good and all that but you're not getting power it's usually a dirty relay and you can usually carefully take them apart and clean the contacts of the relay but it's not an easy process. You can burnish it with a burnisher or you can take them apart and uh, get to them a little bit better. You know if you take it apart that comes out but maybe that'll be another video. But that's gonna be it for this one. Basically how to key up how a um, keying circuit in an amplifier works and 
just about all the CB amplifiers I can think of are very similar to this you know these components might be mounted on the board it might be hard to get to and that's why I chose this one because you know it's on terminal strips and out in the open but basically the same circuit you might see a few differences but you're gonna usually it's that diode and more often than not it's the transistor itself if your amp won't key alright that's it for this one bye